Welcome back to Relay Gun Adventures. Today, we're going to have a little look at the 6 hour MPX CO2 powered semi automatic air rifle, which is this little thing here. So, it's made by 6 hour in the 6 hour factory where they make the rest of their guns. Um, obviously, they make these things all over the world. This particular one's made in Japan. So, it's very, very realistic. It's um, exactly like the real steel version. It's uh, semi in the UK. You can have full auto in other parts of the world, but not here. Pretty much everything on this is as it should be and where it should be. It comes with a little fold out handle, which is really useful. Um, the sling's an extra. It does come complete with fittings to mount the sling um, on the stock there. Literally, I've just made a loop through that little hole, sort that out. Now, as I say, it's CO2 powered, and the CO2 is housed in the stock. It's designed to run on 88 gram. I've actually got this little adapter that I use for a magazine or so's worth of shots. So that takes a standard 12 gram screws on there. It's a really small one, actually. A lot of these things are quite a bit bigger than this. This is a tiddler. It's one of those things I've acquired, and I don't know where. It's obviously come with something else and I repurposed it. So uh, the magazine itself is unique to the sea. Just put that down for a second. I'll do some close ups to the magazine, but basically there's a chain in there which allows 30 pellets to rotate around the magazine. And to fill the magazine, you actually take the chain out. So there's a door in this. This magazine housing is actually plastic, which is a little bit of a shame. So that's where it sits and you can actually take this out completely then load that with 30 in this case 0.177 pellets then it drops back in and feeds the rifle with all 30 rounds and it's quite a smooth very nice easy to load easy to use system so let's pop those in there this one goes back in the top. I quite like this. I, I, when I saw it, I thought, oh, that's going to be trouble. I don't like the look of that. But actually, it is a really, really simple system and very, very slick, I think is the word. You can buy extra magazines. I don't know the price. I'll find out at that in later. So that's the mag, and it fits in the rifle as it should. It's a nice positive lock. Now, control-wise, the safety is here it's also mirrored on the other side as well you've got your magazine release which is where it should be and it works as it should and that's pretty much about it um, the other bits and pieces on this are just for show as is the door there for the ejected shells it's just cast in but it does look very good now the bolt works and you do need to do that before you can fire this for the first time once it's gassed up this isn't gassed up um, so you can fire this one at a time or you can pop away on the trigger and you can actually get the rounds off quite quickly. The downside with it being CO2 is the faster you shoot, the less power you have because the colder the CO2 becomes. So there is some benefit in not going too mad on the trigger, but the fun is firing as fast as you can. That really is where the fun is on these. Now this has got a silencer which has been added to it. Uh, it doesn't come with that, it just comes with a, a little uh, thread protector stroke sort of muzzle, muzzle finisher, which is quite nice, but I prefer it with the silencer. Now, with the silencer on, it's pretty much silent. My neighbours wouldn't know I was in the garden shooting this, which is quite useful, because if they did, uh, they might be alarmed by the look of it. Uh, this red dot, this reflex, um, a bit of a story with this one, and we'll cover that in another video, but it's a nice big one, which allows you to actually look through the open sights as well as using the red dot facility which i really like because i do like open sights anyway and the red dots just a just for show really uh you, you don't need it because it's only rated around about three fpe so it's not much better than a lot of air pistols it looks better feels better it's a lot more fun but uh no more powerful so you're, you're looking at eight to ten meters um it's quite accurate. I do find that uh, 
I'm having to aim a little bit higher than perhaps I feel I should, but you can get a nice group and we'll do that shortly. We'll put some into a target. I'll load the magazine and we'll see how I feel about when to stop. I'm sort of thinking 10, but it might be 30. So that's it in effect. You are gonna get a very nice looking, very realistic, um, it feels very good as well. So once I've done the shooting, we'll talk about the weight, the trigger pull, the overall length. To say I've got a silencer on there which is added to the length which I think it needed if I'm honest I think it looks much better with that little bit of length on it now they do an MCX as well as the MPX um, I had experience with that I've fired one um, but actually I've, I've worked on one for somebody that is a really nice rifle too um, but this is a bit more versatile which is why I went for it so I think we've covered the basics um, as I say, it's all metal. Obviously, this isn't metal. And this handguard up here isn't metal either, but everything else is. Uh, it does feel very good. It is really nice to hang on to, unlike some of the other CO2 replica style rifles, which are very light and feel very, a bit like a toy. This doesn't, this does feel like you've got something really substantial. It's better to hold it down there, actually. Uh, it's it's a nice rifle so let me go and do some shooting and um, we'll come back and we'll talk about the boring stuff and uh, then I'll get out of the way I'll be right back okay well there's some shooting uh, I'll put six into the target in the end um, actually off camera I'll put the rest in as well but that shows you you can group with this. It's easily a five pence group. And um, where you end up on a target does take a little bit of working out. Um, but it's a good little rifle. Now it is 63 centimeters overall without the silencer. It weighs in at just around the three kilo mark. Um, mine's heavier with the silencer and the reflex side. They both had some weight, probably about another 0.28 uh, of a kilo, which is nothing really. Um, trigger pull comes in around about four pounds now I've got a, a little gauge to check that with and it's a cheap little plastic thing but it works and um, it's fairly reliable so I think there probably is around about a four pound pull weight on that trigger and bear in mind that's operating a lot of systems uh, when you pull that trigger so there you have it that is the six hour MPX in all its glory it's fun it looks incredible they certainly nailed the looks on on these sick have really done themselves proud now i did mention that i'd worked on one uh, and i've got to tell you now that when i got inside it it was the most complicated thing i've ever seen in my life um so i'm in no rush to get inside this one but you know if it needs needs that that's what i have to do i think it's well enough made um there's a lot of metal inside it as well there's not a lot of plastic um, I think it's going to give longevity. I think it's going to be a good, reliable CO2 powered rifle. Uh, time will tell, and I might come back and do an update. So I'll do some close ups um, so you can see the magazine. I was thinking about loading the magazine on camera and adding the CO2, but there's nothing really I can show you that either you don't know or you won't want to know. So I'm not going to take up any more time. I think we've done all we can now. I'm going to get out of the way. So please like and subscribe. It is a big thank you to all those that have, and it's much appreciated. I'll see you all again soon. Got some things coming up. Um, there's a BSA 240 Magnum out there, one of only two BSA pistols ever made. Fantastic bit of kit, five and a half foot pounds as well. Spring over lever. That's going to be uh, an interesting little video. And behind me, there's a Crossman 150 CO2, which is from 1956, I think. That is a lovely pistol. Um, but more about that when I do the review. So, I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>